I have two titles that I see in her right now. Of course, there's also Miss International. Yeah. I heard that Miss International kind of likes her as well. Kung totoo man tong mga naririnig ko. And of course, Miss Intercontinental. She might be a good um, follow-up to Karen Coleman. We really don't know. How do you speak? Surprise. Surprising if she can speak. So never ever underestimate the just people, just the person behind them. Yeah. Hello, mga mars. Welcome back to our channel. So in today's vlog, oh my God, it's a very special vlog today because makakasama ko isa kong kaibigan from Rumbler, mga kaibigan. Let's welcome Alexa. the first time na pumayag ako to do this for the sake of a friend. Yay! Because never ko po talaga itong ginagawa. Kahit sa iba kong mga kaibigan, nakikiusap minsan lang po ako umuo. Ang taray, diba? Thank you, Mom! Thank you, Mom! So before we start our little um, um, review, mm -hmm. kung man naman sa sabi, uh, magpakilala tayo sa mga Mars natin. And at the same time, give a little background sa work mo. Okay. Hi everyone, I'm Alexa Villiano. I'm actually one of rappers, lifestyle and entertainment reporters. Now, I've been covering the pageant scene for five years now. And fun fact, actually, hindi na to fun fact para kay Franz, kay Mars Franz rather. Because last year, I was in Hong Kong, I stayed there for two months, and I defended a paper, and the topic was about Philippine pageantry, whether it empowers women. Ang galing! Hindi ko na pa tatagaling pa, mga Mars. Ang content ngayon ng vlog natin is masasabi natin na nakikita siya description box at masasabi natin na which crown suits for a binibini. So, lahat ng 40 girls, disclaimer lang, is a Miss Universe contender. Pwede sila manalo ng Miss Universe pero aside from Miss Universe Philippines na crown, ano pa yung fit sa kanila? So, um, Alexa and I already talked about this and at the same time, makikita natin na kung saan pa ba suited yung binibini sa lima pang crown. Yes. So, para lang din sa kaalaman ng marami, opinion lang po namin itong dalawa ni Morris Franz. It's a, anything can happen on Sunday night kasi hindi po natin alam talaga kung sino ang mananalo. So, we wish, but now pa lang all the girls a good luck kasi it's a very, very tight competition. True. From our experience, having talk to the girls, having, you know, get, in between chit chats na sa kanila yung mga hindi yun nakikita on cam Ay, behind the scenes behind the scenes rather yes so mga mars um we take consideration also sa mga pegs ng each um ano nga ba to ang crown title such as uh, miss international <laughs> miss supranational miss intercontinental miss globe and miss grand international, international. Yes. so let's start ready yes. na ready na ka And at the same time, mga Mars, open po yung description, yung comment section po para marinig ko din yung mga comments ninyo and at the same time, yung thoughts ninyo sa vlog namin ni Mars, Alexa. First up, from Bibing Malabon, Jessica Marasigan. Which crown suited for Jessica Marasigan for you? For me right now, Jess really fits for Miss International, Miss International Philippines. For the only reason then that her face, I believe, also suits what the Japanese are getting paid so is looking for. Um, same thoughts, Miss International for um, Jessica Marasigan. Next is Pangasinan's Pride, Daniel Mal. At this point, I can see Denj, believe it or not, supranational. Because the only thing ang maganda kay Denj, if you've seen the fashion show, she can actually also walk. Ah, ako nakikita ko kay Dench din is um, from Dench and at the same time from Frisbee um, Supranational mm -hmm. and at the same time is Grand International. Kasi nakikita ko sa kanya si Elizabeth Lenzi. Pwede din. Diba? So, yung classic look or something na yung kanyang voice. Baka hindi lang din natin nakikita. 
makita din yun. Because, you know, most of the time, photos siya lang ang pasihan eh. So, yun, the walk. Di ba? Ang galing. So, next up is Munting Lupa's Pride, Martina Turner Diaz. Martina, I have to say, I have two titles that I see in her right now. Of course, there's also Miss International. Yeah. I heard that Miss International kind of likes her as well. Kung totoo man itong mga naririnig ko. And of course, Miss International. Ako naman, um, yes, international, and at the same time, Miss Globe. Miss Globe. Pwede, pwede. Si Martina sa Miss Globe. Again, mga Mars, disclaimer lang, lahat ng 40 girls, hindi lang may sinasabi na um, fit talaga silang lahat sa Miss Universe. Yeah. Yes. Okay, so ito yung another crown na perfect sa kanila. Okay. Next is, sa Buwanga Sibugay, Malka Shaver. Malka right now, say, intercontinental. Mm -hmm. yeah, because... You know, she might be a good um, follow-up to Karen Tom, and we really don't know. Actually, si Tom is the two. Because the intercon is Rampa, which is often the si Malta. The face value of Malta is very easy for Tom. Yes. And Malta can speak also. But she can actually speak. Surprise. Surprising if she can speak. So never ever underestimate the person behind them. True, ang galeng. So moving forward tayo from pinipining ilo ilo, Sigrid Grace Flores. Sigrid, when I saw her for the first time this year, I would have to say she's actually pwedeng pang supra, pwedeng pang MCI. True, same tayo. So again, ah. Miss Universe, pwede din siya sa Supra, and at the same time sa um, Miss Grand International kasi very cleansy din siya. Very cleansy, and she has also, when she walks, biglang tumataas yung tumataas siyang tignan. So parang pinupul siya ng, mm -hmm. ng strain out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Better watch out for Sigrid. Next is Double Del Tour, Jane Darren Henry. Si Jane, I would say right now, um, I would put her, pwede siya for Globe, pwede din siya for MGI. Same, same, same. Globe at MGI din siya. Kasi um, nakikita ko kay, kay Jane, walker siya eh. Mm. She can walk. And yun yung kailangan ng Miss Grand International. And at the same time, when it comes to substance naman, pwede siya sa Globe. Yes. Diba? Pwede siyang, um, ano nga ba to, pwede siyang mag-back-to-back -back kay uh, Michelle kung nga ba ako. Yes. Uh, yes. And then, let's go to Sweet Face, si Honey Grace, Cartesano of Risa. Si Honey, medyo, I really had to say, I'm thinking about it right now. Para medyo, I'm torn with where to put her, but right now, it's safe look. Yeah. Ako naman, nakikita ko kay Honey, um, aside from Miss Universe Philippines, yeah. international. international. Because um, peg ng international is parang dal -dal. So, Honey Grace is, is very sweet yung face niya, decent yung height, and at the same time, the walk. Is and soft features, I guess you need to refer to the soft features that hindi, you know, hindi means it kasi napakas. True. Let's go to the Negros Island. Of course. Uh, representing Negros Oriental, Joanna Sa. Joanna, at this point, I would have to say, when I saw her work, well, walk in the fashion show, she could be Supra, she could be MGI, she could be Blue. True. Tatlong corona din yung nakikita ko sa kanya. Same, same talk tayo. Kasi nga, walker siya. And at the same time, nakita ko siya nung free speech. Um, the girl can talk. And at the same time, yun yung kailangan din ngayon ng Miss Grand International. A girl can walk and can talk. Exactly, yes. Um, another Negros Oriental beauty, which is Melba Ann Makasay. Melba, I would have to say right now, given a chance, I would put her in intercontinental or globe. For the reason lang kasi na it's, you know, me medyo na ano ko eh, I get confused where to put her. We have to remember na if some of you believe in the pegs of these competitions, may hinahanap sila. And to be honest, this discussion that we're having right now, even if it's our opinions, ang hirap din. Actually, ang hirap talaga na, ang hirap. I mean, this is an impromptu thing itong kung saan namin dalawa ba. Really, ang hirap. 
Ako kay Melba, nakikita ko sa kanya is a supranational. Mm -hmm. She's also a good contender for supranational and glow. Mm -hmm. And glow. Um, next is um, Marikina Sprite, Maan Marquez. The first time I saw Maan, I said, wow, she would be for international because of her face. But she can also be supra because remember, folks, she knows how to walk. She was a model, or she is still a model actor. True. Ako naman, nakikita ko kay Maan, same tayo, um, Miss International, and at the same time, no. No, kasi decent yung height niya. Hindi nyo kailangan kung sila mag-a-do. Yung height, and at the same time, model. 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 Uh, moving forward tayo, um, Binibini Pulangi, which is Shane Thorne. Si Shane, without a doubt, when I saw her, I, the first thing that came to mind, as I from Miss Universe Philippines, was M. Shikan. Miss Grand. Yeah. Ako naman, nakikita ko kay Shane, kasi na, na, nakausap ko si Shane. Aside from Miss Universe Dao, Philippines, dalawang gusto niya ang crown. And alam ko na suited siya doon. One is supranational and yeah. one is um, Miss Grand International. Tinanong ko siya why. Kasi gusto niya daw makatabi si Miss Venezuela para kalaman ni Miss Venezuela na merong walker ang Asian country which is Philippines. Kudos for Shane Tate. Diba? Diba? Let's forward to the Visay City Cebu. Gazini Ganado. That's what I said. Oh God. <laughs> oh God. It's okay. And she, you can put her in any crown. <laughs> but I would say right now that comes into my mind would be Supra. Mm -hmm. when you, if you, if you, again, if you have seen her walk, fashion show, and jo the fashion show in Marriott, and the fashion show in here in New Frontier, may mga si girl! True. Ako naman, um, yun, syempre, kapag walk mo, walk lang naman talaga, it's dalawang, dalawang ano lang yan, dalawang crown ang kailangan. Supra or Grand International. That's true. And at the same time, pwede din siyang mag, makabigay sa atin ng back-to-back -back for Intercontinental. Pwede din. Pwede din. Again, we, ano, we, don't, we are now beginning to know, I guess, what Intercontinental is really looking for. Because before, medyo parang in and out. Ngayon, medyo nagigets na natin sa ilang. Yung na Medyo nagigets na natin. I don't get it ako. I will be Saying Mejo, that he gets. Okay, next. Looking forward for Aya Abisami's crown. Aya! Obviously, we all know that Aya has been modeling for a long, long, long time. So, the first thing that comes into mind, if it's worth it, if not from this universe Philippines, definitely Supra or MGI. Ako naman for Aya. Same time, Supra or no. Diba? Pwede siyang... Pwede siya sa blue din eh. Pwede din. And at the same time, kahit ang crown ng PR. Hell yeah. But we have to take into consideration age limits po. May mga age limits po sa mga competitions na ito. True. Let's move forward to Laguna's pride, Larry May Bautista. I would have to say what Norman Tino wrote. She suits also for me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same, same, same thought style. Uh, Kung hindi university level, globe talaga. Globe talaga yung fit kay level, no? Okay. Wow. Oh my God! Next! One of the babies of, of this batch. Oh yeah. Source of one's pride, Maria Isabel Dalita. Ano, I will confess that in the beginning, I wasn't, I had a good, I didn't see Isabella that much. But when I met her, oh my god, girl, ang ganda ganda mo. Oh, and ayaw ko lang po sa sabihin sa harap ka kami, at just ko, Lord. I would have said it to her always, in the, always when you teach her. But kidding aside, Isabella's beauty is not just Miss Universe Philippines material. She can actually also be in any crown, but right now I would have to say I would pick her for Supranational. Supra ka naman. Ako naman kay Isabella. Um, international. Why? 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 I I said international because ang peg ni Isabella is 
precious Lara Kudama. Well, yeah, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. If you look at a certain angle, I believe, I think what Mars Francis is pointing out there, that if you think that you're in a certain angle, come on, Isabella, see, precious Lara. The precious Lara Kudama. And I think, I'm sure right now, Lara herself is looking at some of the photos of these ladies. <laughs> Next is the Pandoana Sprite, Denise Amora. Ah, so then I would have to say when I saw her walk, she didn't fit in any other crowd. crowns. All, all crowds, but right now I would say I should suit Supra and at the same time MGI for me. Any of those three. Ako naman, tatlo din. Uh, Miss Supranational, Miss Grand International, and Miss Intercontinental. She gave me the Venus Rava. Yeah, actually, she does I know, have this kind of confidence of a Venus Ra that, you know, I mean, Venus Ra is Venus Ra, but here comes Denise Omoro that, okay, it's not just the, not just Venus, I'm here. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Diretso tayo sa Bataan Spry, Patricia Patch Magtan. Okay, so Patch, when I talk to Patch, I have no doubt that she has the goods because she can talk. Mm -hmm. And I think next to Miss Universe Philippines, the one the other compet the other competitions that needs a good speaker would be international. Yes. Um Intercon. Yes. And definitely if Meron Talaga this year. Yung globe. Yung globe. So yeah. ako naman. If not Miss Universe, is that what I saw in the crowd that was fit for her? Which is Miss International. Yeah, the speech portion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, of course, it's also good to speak when it comes to speaking. She can also be in Miss Intercontinental for back to back for her current job. Okay, next! Next is Miss Bother's Pride, Hannah Arnold. And it's okay, Hannah. I know that a lot of fans and a lot of Reporters have been saying that she's not for Miss International, Miss Universe Philippines, Miss International, because she has that, I know, doll like features now. Probably the Japanese organizers will also appreciate. But at the same time, let's not box Hannah because no of her looks. She can be also suited for the great for her gracefulness. So probably a Supra mm -hmm. or an Intercon. True. Um, yung nakikita ko naman kay Hana is uh, yes, um, Miss Universe Philippines if ever um, Miss International because prototype ng Miss Interco ay eh, Miss Miss International is Hana. And at the same time Miss Interco. Mm -hmm. Wait, this si Hana sa Miss Interco. So two crowns yung nakikita ko kay Hana for this year: International, Interco, three pala and Miss um, Universe Philippines. Okay. Let's move forward to. First of Cebuana, na kapaso this year. Eh, tat mo masila. Just ko door. Masila si ko. Eileen de Vera. Eileen, Eileen. When I first met Eileen, if wearing for Miss Universe Philippines, I would have to say she fits very for me. Ha, she fits MGI, and at the same time, she can also be for Interpol. Ako, ako nga yung masasabi ko siguro kay Aileen because of, nakita ko yung performance niya in at the same time sa free speed. Well, if not Miss Universe Philippines, Miss Grant. Kailangan siya ni Nova. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kasi, and, you know, walk to walk, walk, talk to talk. And you have to remember that at this point, as an MG, I is looking for tall women. Mm -hmm. Glamazona as the term that we use, that has been used in the fashion you know you have to prove if, if you have the height, 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 we want you. True, 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 true. Okay. Next! Next is halfway there, Julia Sobier. <laughs> Julia! Well, well done, no? well, her fans will probably kill me for saying uh, beyond this universe. I have to say, Julia would fit Miss International and Miss Globe for the only reason that I believe and, I, and everyone knows this for sure that ang panglaban ni Miss Madame Sophie is her calm skills. True. Ako, kung calm skills lang naman ang pag-uusapan, kailangan din siya ni Nawat. Mm. 
Blanche. You know what? Miss Grand International. And at the same time, kasi um, Julia has this factor. And prototype din siya ng Miss Group, eh. Yeah. But let us all remember that all of these girls, or these ladies, are gunning for the one crown that everyone wants. <laughs> Same thoughts. Um, um, Walker si Sam, 
And at the same time, yung girlfriend is sobrang ano siya, sobrang prepared ngayon. Yun, sobrang prepared so, siya. Sam can talk, Sam can, Sam can talk, Sam can walk. At the same time, she's so approachable. In fact, there are many times na pag nagkikita kami ni Sam or even si Mars Franz, nakikita, Hi! Kamusta ka na? So, Sam is, from last year, if Sam was very friendly, at this year, she's really more relaxed. True, true, true. So, nakikita ko agad kay Sam, super national and international. International. Yeah. Next is Bulacan. Si Ruby Faustino. Well, Ruby, Ruby, I would have to say right now, I see Ruby suited for Intercon, oh, yes. but she can also be for Glow for me. Same, same. It's either Intercon or Glow. Yeah. Ruby from Bulacan. Okay. Next is Bacolod. Oh, right. Okay, she's an uh, Cassandra Chan. Yeah, she's Cassie. Um, you know, you put, you can actually put Cassie surprisingly in this international, or you can actually put her in MGI. Because it was the Nina Wat now. Walker. And may a surprise then to Cassie. To Cassie, because if you've seen her national costume, okay, it may look a little bit on national costume. It's Pashabu girl. So, and then we all know that Nawash loves Pashabu girl. True, true, true. I love it. So, it's, it's either international shop or Miss Grand. Why do you think she's a supra national? Why do you think she's a supra? Because, you know, Cassie can make use of her dance skills. And remember, the Poland Beast. Competition. If you've seen their programs through the years, mahirik sila sa mga sayaw numbers. True, true, true. Next is Maguindanao's Pride, the Rasham Sai. Oh, Rasham. Ray is actually a good speaker as well, so I would recommend her for MCI. At baka magulat na si Nawat. Nawat. She has the skills of Nibon for the best when she talks. Actually, Miss Ano din siya, Miss Grand International or Miss Intercontinental. Mm, right? Yeah. The good follow-up also, Karen Thomas. And and also, nagahanag na yun si Miss Intercon ng ng a good speaker. And at the same time, gumagawa sila ng brand. So magandang addition siya sa mga previous queens because Muslim siya. Yeah, diversity. Diversity. Um, the one thing I, I'm grateful, grateful for Ray when we were talking to her is that, wow, well, when I talked to her about, you know, it's not common anymore for Muslim women to join beauty contests, she's just saying, you know, it's a, diff it's a different story when you're a Muslim joining a competition. Because there are other representatives now who, of Muslim provinces, but they're not Muslim. So that's a different story. But again, I commend Ray for taking the step because really, you know, she, what she's doing, she told me actually, is very controversial. But at the same time, she did it because she wants to express, wants to prove to people that she did it. True. Love it. Next is the youngest. The youngest, yeah. The youngest um, candidate for this year, Daniel Ho. Na no, si Danielle, when I saw her, I really immediately saw her as a Miss International prototype. Because if you learn how to, if you would appreciate Danielle's features, you would say that she's suitable for Miss International. She could also be Miss International. Because because this, we're talking about soft features. Yes. Ako, wala na. If ever nandiri niya makuha yung Miss Universe Philippines, international lang talaga si Daniel Dog. Why? Because again, um, pegs. Si Daniel ang peg ng um, Miss International because if you look at Mostly nang nananalo ngayon sa Miss International is mga bata. Mga bata are soft features. Dull-like. Dull-like. We always have to take into consideration. Kasi meron, meron sila yung parang sinasabi na that the crown, the Mickey Moto crown has to fit your face. So yeah, this is something that through the years, through observation and watching, watching the show or yung mga kwento-kwento no, mga experts sa Galing. Next is from Tarla. Si Faye. 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 I saw, like, when I see Faye, I see Nelda Ibe every now oh. and then. <laughs> so, Globe is an, a Globe is one, but at the same time, I think Faye can also, you know, be a surprise in terms of 
Intercon or probably who knows? Intercon would probably be MGI or something. Ah, globe lang. Globe. Globe talaga. Globe talaga si Faye. Okay. Yun yung talaga yung nakikita ko. Kung hindi naman makuha yung Miss Universe when it's globe. Okay. Next is another Puerto Princesa Pride. Jessery Dumagi. Si Jessery. Okay. Her backstory reminds us of 2015 Janice. Janice Alubina. Janice Alubina. Si Janice, this is actually, for those who don't know, Janice is also from Palawan. Mm -hmm. So, and totoo yan, i-research ko yan. Baka mamaya makasya ko. So, hindi <laughs> Palawan po si Janice. Because it's been, ano, in, um, I would say for Janice, she can walk. So, Supra and MGI are good options. But at the same time, I don't know, she could also be Supra. Or another one, which is cool. So, the thing is, it's international. International. Because it's the same thing as Janice and Lubina. And at the same time, it's soft in the future. It's like a big one. Pinay Barbie is the face of the Jessa Lee. So, it's the same thing. Mine is international and yours is... I'm saying right now, it's Supra. Supra. Yeah, Supra. Next is... One of dancers also, Batangas, Alanis Pinoy. Si Alanis, I would say right now, Globe. Globe, she's a young. Mine is because of dancing skills. Ni Alanis, pwede siya sa Supranational. Yeah. Pwede din siya sa Miss Grand International. Yeah. Yun yung mga gusto. Kasi para sa akin na, iba kasi ang galawan if pageant girls is a dancer. Oo, and kasi ang dami, sa mga ginagawa ng mga girls and that. Um, if you've noticed in some of the competitions ng, ng, through the years, malalaman nyo, tingnan nyo, Miss Universe dati may sayawan. Ngayon, nag-walk na lang sila. Now, we don't know, baka magbago. Ganun din sa international. But yun, Supra and MGI, lately sila yung madami sayawan. Oh, madami production. Madami sila production. Yun, what, the, kung wala man silang Q&A, they base it more on the Production value. Next is from La Union. Second time, second time candidate, Kimberly Pension. Kimberly, oh, I think si Kimberly you can also put her in pageants. So, but right now, what yung come into my mind for him to be intercontinental, intercontinental first. Same. If not Miss Universe Philippines, I'll put Kimberly Pension to Miss Intercontinental. Next is from Ligon Albay. Oh, yeah. Francia, Papa, like this. Alam niyo, minsan gusto ko na tagat niyo. Hindi, hindi ko tatanungin ko na. Ano pong meron talaga sa Ligon? Ang dami! Ang dami! Ang dami! Nakakaloka, no? But, okay. I want to have to say, when I see Francia, I see also... I should get... Actually, I'm torn, but I would rather put Francia in... Yeah, ang hirap ito. But it's a Supra. Same. Supra. Kasi... Walker, Walker. The girl is also good in communication skills. So, why didn't she say Miss Grand International? Yeah. So, it's hard. You know, we're talking about so many parents. Oh, na babagan din pa rin ako. Diba? Kasi parang pwede mo siyang ilagay sa lahat. Oh, lahat sila pwede mo ilagay anywhere. But you have to take into consideration right now what these organizations are looking for. But again, you never know from Sunday night sa mahiwagang bola sa staff. True, true, true. No, no! We can only predict, but we cannot, you know, we cannot say. True. Next is from the land of brave, Samantha Poblete. Oh, and the video of Sam, when I see Sam also, tatus na sa mom. Tatus na sa mom. Anyway, when I see Sam, I see soft features, so international is already there. Say, ah, yung akin is it's either globe si Samantha Poblete, ah, or Miss Intercontinental, di ba? Kasi pinay ang features niya, very soft, and at the same time, um, hinahanap kasi ngayon ng ng mga organization is more of engaging, engaging si Sam Poblete when it comes to to us sa mga media yeah. and at the same time sa mga fans niya may mga yeah. may mga fans si Samantha na 
nakikita ko kasi very engaging siya. So yun yung gusto ng mga organization niya. Yeah. Diba? yeah, that's the one thing. Um, well, organizations are looking for a spokesperson. Mm -hmm. True. Uh, next. Oh my God, last three categories yes. tayo. One of which is Negros Occidental Pride. Representing Talisay City, Negros Occidental, Vicky Marie Rushton. Ito lang. Two crowns, but definitely when it's Vicky Rushton for me, maniwala kasi hindi. International! I'll stick to the second choice, but at the same time, she can be also good for Intercontinental. This is a fact. I don't know if this has been discussed thoroughly in, you know, in some of the stars. But because before Vicky was a Mutya and when Intercontinental was still with Mutya, I think she was supposed to compete True. there. So, but at this point, na natuloy. Na natuloy. But between Intercontinental and International, I would say for me right now, Vicky should be. International, same. Um, ako, three crowns, Miss Universe Philippines. Yes. Um, Miss International, kasi yun yung peg, no? Oh. Miss International, yun yung mga ni Vicky. And, para sabihin na lang natin, in, kung hindi niya na, 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 nakakompete siya noon, nung nanalo siya ng mutya, baka this time, makakakompete na sa intercontinent. So, we never know. And, and, I don't know if this is really true or not, but there has been, I remember, rumor for quite some time and we don't know if it's really a rumor or it's a fact but we heard that it seems international life show oh my god masaya to next is Faragas Fry Daya Magno for me Daya probably had you know we all know Michelle Kumaba is a volleyball player and Daya is a bad so I think Daya is also a good follow up to Michelle's global same, same thoughts, same thoughts. Kasi, nag-start tayo sa pilot, sa volleyball player, and now sa badminton player. Yeah, yeah. Diba? Yeah. So, sure. if not uh, Miss Universe Philippines, Miss Globe Philippines will suit sure. for Daya Magno. And last, yes! But it's the last, but <laughs> not the least! Palo <laughs> open spry, Joanna Toledo. Just ko po. May nakita ako kanina on Facebook or IG yata. Kung meron, parang kung meron daw daughter si Parlos, uh, siya na daw yun, si Joanna Toledo na daw yun. So, without a doubt, siya pa kailangan MGI because Parlos did compete in MGI. But in the same time, she's also suitable for Super National Party. True. Ako naman, nakikita ko kay Joanna is um, Miss Universe Philippines yeah. and at the same time, Miss Grand International. Hello. Dalawa lang. Dalawa lang yung crown na nakikita ko by Joanna Soledad. Alright! That's it! Thank you so much for watching our vlog. And please, 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 I encourage everyone, na, lahat na, na nanonood ng mga Mars, um, comment your thoughts about uh, who fits um, yeah. the bidding bb per crowd. Um, my comment section is freely um, open siya sa mga thoughts ninyo and at the same time mga Mars um, I'm excited for, yes. for, for Sunday um, hopefully um, sa 40 girls best of luck yeah best of luck may the best woman win on Sunday mm -hmm. and at the same time last ko na lang siguro na masasabi everything happens for a reason cliche man siya pakinggan but yeah, but it's for you, it's for you no matter what. Gagawa at gagawa ang universe ng paraan para ilagay yung perfect na crown para sa'yo. And I also want to say pala, to the six winners come Sunday night, not only will their lives change, literally because now that they are queens, two the queen for queens, and will be representing the Philippines, I want to comment already again for actually taking the step be taking a step further because you know representing the Philippines has never it's never been easy. True. I think for uh, you know it's a let's be very honest. Then Nicola Vinny B is one of the toughest competitions that any as beauty queen as my goes through. Thank you Mars. Thank you, thank you, Mars Thank you, 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 you and I hope sana you know ano marami pang mga ganitong 
session. One session sa kwentuhan because really dito nyo malalaman din sa amin yung mga behind the scenes na hindi nyo talaga na. Sure. Thank you, Mars. And thank you, mga Mars, sa pag-view ng aming vlog. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button here. And at the same time, the notification bell para ma-update kayo agad-agad sa mga new vlogs ko together with the Bini Bini Philippines 2019. And at the same time, sa future na mga beauty pageants here in the Philippines. Thank you, mga Mars! And God bless!